now. The classroom, the lesson has started, so make sure y'all sit down and pay attention and learn, okay? Afterwards is when I will be accepting people's questions. When you look at this from a biblical standpoint, you will understand what I'm saying. Um, we are going to use the Antichrist as our example in this episode, man. Um, it says in Revelation that he will come and he will deceive the world. You know, he will he will declare world peace. He will unite all the nations together and all this other stuff. You know, he will be seen as a man of peace. Um, and then he will turn around and rain destruction down on Israel and, and, and everything else, you know. And uh, the people who, who don't want to get the mark of the beast, the people who don't want to worship his image, you know, he, he offs them. He offs them. That's That's what it says, you know. But in the beginning, whenever he comes onto the scene, he is playing the hero. He plays it so good that he deceives, excuse me, he deceives even the elect. What does that mean? The people, the people who are most, the, the people who are knowledgeable the most in the Bible, the people who are knowledgeable the most in God's word, he will deceive even the elect. That is how good that he will play the hero. That is how good that some people play the hero right now you know like right now i'm gonna use this as an example of kanye west i it's hard to tell if he is on the good side or if he's on the other side um that's what i mean by some people be playing the hero so well you don't even know if they're the villain you know right now from from what i can see i what i can tell i don't know what side that he's playing on it seems like he's playing on both sides he's been playing on both sides you know on one hand he's over here talking about how he sold his soul and all this other stuff. On the other hand, he's over here talking about how Jesus is the Lord and Savior and all this other stuff. You know, it's like, what side are you playing on the most? And then he goes back and has a uh, church service with Marilyn Manson. So what side are you playing on? You know, people playing the villain, the hero so good that you don't even realize the villain. And that is their whole point. They are trying to lull you into a false sense of security so they can take you over by surprise. The biggest attack is, a, is an attack by surprise, you know, because you're not ready for it. You don't expect it. You don't see it. You know, it's that shock value that they're looking for. It's that 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 hole in your guard, that crack in your wall. When you have your guard up, it's that crack in your wall that they're looking for. They can strike and bring it down real quick. That's why you always got to pay attention to what people do. You always got to pay attention to what people say. Um, their actions will speak louder than their words, you know, and even their body language, you know, they might say one thing, but their body language will show some, come, something completely different. So always keep your eye on people. Um, and my recommendation, honestly, would be to keep your circle small, you know, I would, I would, I would say small circles are the best, um, because then you don't have to worry about as many people, you know, maybe as many snakes in your circle. Um, it's just crazy, dude. Some people are so good at acting that they will literally deceive you. They will deceive other people. They'll deceive everybody, you know. And some people just do it just to do it, you know. Some people do it because they find entertainment in it. Other people do it for clout, you know. Other people do it for fame, money, whatever the case may be. And other people just do it because they simply find entertainment and joy in it. And it's just crazy. So, yeah, man. Watch your backs, watch your lefts, your rights, your fronts, your forwards, your ups, your downs. Watch everything. Watch everybody around you because you don't know who's plotting. You don't know who's planning against you. You don't know who's even thinking what. You don't. You know, you could you could have a, a best homie in your circle that you've known for a while who, who secretly hates on you, you know. You don't know. You just, you just, you don't know it. You don't. So always watch people. Always watch their actions. Watch their what they do, how they react to certain things, you know. Always peep it. Always peep it, you know. Keep that one eye open. Always peep it. With that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and end the topic on that right there, man. Uh, if y'all would like me to stick